वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन दी बेल आइकन टू रिसीव द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दी अपकमिंग वीडियोज नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व नाइनटी टू एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेट दैट दिस बॉल एट पॉइंट ए इज किक्ड सच दैट दी ए इज मेकिंग थर्टी डिग्रीज एंगल विद एक्स एक्सिस राइट सो थीटा ए इज थर्टी डिग्रीज and it is said that if it strikes the ground at p having coordinates x equals to 15 feet and y equals to minus 9 feet right so the coordinates of point b are given right so we can write that the final position in the x direction is x equals to 15 feet and in the y direction that is in the negative y right so that y is minus 9 feet so we are asked to determine the speed at, wh at which it is kicked so we have to find the initial speed and the speed at which it strikes the ground right so we have to find the initial and final speed so now if we apply the horizontal motion equation and this is our positive x direction right and this is our positive y direction so if we apply the horizontal motion equation so then this, this will be that equation will be x equals to x not plus v a x t and similarly x not is zero since the ball is at the origin right so zero zero so x not and y not are zero zero right so this means that x which is 15 feet right so x at point b is 15 feet this will be va x so this will be va cos of 30 degree right into t so we can write va into t right so if we divide 15 by cos of 30 so we will be left with the product of va and t so 15 divided by cos of 30 degree so this product comes out to be 17.32 now if we apply the vertical motion equation right so the vertical motion equation will be equal to y equals to y not plus v a y into t minus half g t square right since y not is 0 and the final position in the y direction is minus 9 right so this is given right so this is minus 9 and this v a y will be v a sin of 30 degrees into t and minus and since the units are in feet right so we have to put the g value as 32.2 right so 32.2 divided by 2 will be 16.1 t square so we can write this equation uh, like this as well right so this will be minus 16.1 t square plus and this will be sin of 30 into vat right so since vat the product of va into t is 17.32 and sin of 30 is 0.5 right so we can write 0.5 into 17.32 and if we bring this minus 9 to the other side of this equation right so this will become plus 9 so now when we simplify this so this comes out this uh, sum comes out to be 17.66 right so this will be equal to minus 16.1 t square equals to minus 17.66 right so minus will be cancelled out and if we divide both side by 16.1 right so t square will be equal to 17.66 divided by 16.1 and if we take the square root so that give, will give us the time required for this ball to reach this point b so the time required to reach this point b comes out to be 1.047 second right so now we have this equation so we can find the va magnitude right so this is the initial velocity magnitude so this will be 17.32 divided by that time initial velocity va comes out to be 16.54 feet per second right so this is that va which is the initial velocity now we are required to find the velocity at point b right so we can apply this equation right so we can write that v b y again if we apply the vertical motion equation right so v b y square will be equal to v a y square minus 2 g and y minus y not right so v b y whole square 
and this will be v a y right so we can write v a y as v a sine of 30 degrees so now we have v a magnitude which is 16.54 16.54 sine of 30 degrees whole square minus 2 into 32.2 and the final uh, y coordinate is minus 9 right so i will write minus 9 and y naught is 0 right so this is by ni minus 9 so this equation will give us v b y magnitude if we take the under the root as well right so this will give us v b y so this v b y comes out to be 25.45 feet per second right and to find v v x so that will be equal to v a x right since the horizontal velocity remains constant right so v a x is 16.54 cos of 30 degrees v b x comes out to be 14.32 feet per second right so now to find the v b magnitude right so v b magnitude will be equal to v b x square plus v b y square under the root right so this will give us the velocity magnitude at point b so now v b will be equal to v v b x is 14.32 whole square plus v b y is 25.45 whole square so this will give us the v b magnitude so velocity at point B comes out to be 29.20 feet per second and similarly the initial velocity at point A is 16.54 feet per second. So this is the solution of this problem.